The stars of Angry Birds are giving us their expert advice on dealing with anger in today's entertainment city. But first, to get ready for an all-female superheroes and villain squad, courtesy of Harley Quinn. I'm known to be quite vexing. I'm just forewarning you. She hasn't even shown her stuff in Suicide Squad on the big screen yet, but it sounds like Harley Quinn has already landed her own spinoff. What? Reports say DC Entertainment and Warner Brothers are looking to make a flick with Margot Robbie's baseball bat wielding villain in the main role. Apparently, the spinoff would see the Australian actress star alongside multiple female DC Comics villains and heroes. Robbie is set to produce the film, and in fact, it sounds like she was the one who actually launched the project. That's a good idea, honey. Sinead O'Connor has been found safe after being reported missing in a Chicago suburb. Police sent out a check for well-being alert after a caller told them the Irish pop star failed to return from a bike ride early Sunday morning. According to TMZ, O'Connor was classified as, quote, missing suicidal. Reports say she was found at a hotel and taken to hospital. The singer's disappearance comes after reportedly posting a cryptic Facebook message to her oldest son, asking him to take custody of her younger son, Shane. O'Connor is currently in a custody battle with Shane's father. The 49-year-old was found safe last year after posting an apparent suicide note on Facebook saying she'd overdosed. O'Connor is currently facing a $5 million lawsuit filed by Arsenio Hall after she accused the comedian of supplying drugs to Prince, whose recent death has led to rumors of an overdose. Mr. Rare, there seems to be a recurring issue here. The Angry Birds are flying high at the international box office, earning $43 million before the film's North American release this Friday. PK caught up with the cast of the video game turned movie in Hawaii to talk about what else? Anger. Don't look, Bobby. The anger might be contagious. He started it. How do you guys diffuse anger? Laughing. Stress ball? Trying to make jokes about it. What's that? Stress, Stress ball? ball? Stress ball, yep. So your, your cool factor must be up. Now, with your kids, with my kids, right? yeah, totally. They want to know like what my bird does. Cause I'm like, what's their super bird power? Just wait till you see the movie. Huh? She can shoot fireballs out of her butt. My kids are confused because it's like, <laughs> you're well, which one are you? Yeah, are you an Olaf or are you the yellow angry bird? What? How are you doing this? What dark magic I'm is many this? Many things, kids. Right? Is that what I you say? I can be anything I want to be, and so can you. That's nice. If you put your heart to it, don't give me And you speech. develop the skill set of using want... your voice. Are you not renewed by chance? Oh, don't be intimidated. Great knowledge comes from the humblest of origins. Biographical drama, The Man Who Knew Infinity, takes math from the textbook to the big screen. Terry Hard caught up with the stars. The film focuses on a really fascinating piece of history that I think very few people know very much about. It's great when you discover a, a story that nobody knows and the relationship between the two cultures. You know, the very stuffy Cambridge before the First World War, where India was this distant colony. And suddenly this man comes who is way above me intellectually as a Cambridge professor. They forge this relationship and, and, and sort of bond in the most extraordinary way through mathematics, which is something I thought was so dry and dusty. Of course, pure mathematics is, is like painting. It's like art. It's extraordinary. The man who knew infinity hit select theaters Friday. And as always, you can get your entertainment news here first every single morning and anytime on Twitter at Ant City.